Hey YouTube, welcome to a new mini series. Um, in this mini series, I will be showing you how you can make different types of uh, abstract wallpapers using Photoshop. Uh, for those of you who don't have Photoshop, you can always um, download GIMP, which is a free open source software that um, is very similar to Photoshop. I'll put it down in the link in the description. And I'll also be making a separate uh, complimentary mini series on the topic of GIMP. So, um, yeah, to show you what you can do, what I'll be doing in this episode, um, yeah, wait, let me just open it up. Okay. Um, it's something that's going to look like this. Uh, and I was trying to sort of get my inspiration from Rising Sun, but this was made really quickly, so yeah. Uh, so let me just X out of that. Okay, now go and create a new one. I'm going to call mine YouTube. And set your dimensions to whatever you want. And I like setting my resolution at least to 200 because it makes the image nice and crisp. And if you ever need to put on a larger monitor, then um, yeah, it's gonna look nice too. Um, make sure you are set to 16 bit, as 8 bit makes uh, it kind of the colors look choppy and um, transparent. So you're going to be working with uh, multiple layers so that you can overlay them. So yeah, um, go ahead and create three more layers, and now going back to your first layer, um, go to your paint bucket tool, select black, and then uh, just fill that in. Now I don't know why, but just um, this looks uh, abstract looks a lot better on black, and also you're gonna be blending different colors, so you want black as your background so that it um so that the colors don't blend on it and they remain independent. You'll see what I mean later. Um, yeah, so going back to uh, the second layer, uh, go and select uh, the color white because we're gonna be working with multicolors now. So, um, and then go to your brush tool, select a decent size, it doesn't really matter what you pick. And I'll go somewhere ra around the wait. Yeah, let me just make that bigger. And um, I'll just uh, go somewhere around the middle. Actually, no, I'll go a little to the top left. Yeah. So um, you can see what I'm making. And um, yeah, now I'll make this a little smaller and make sort of like rays coming out. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter how you uh, do that. So don't worry, the final picture will look nothing like this, so don't think that I'm like ripping you off or anything and don't turn off the video right now. Um, yeah, let me just put like some ra more random dots here just to add something. Okay. Mm yep, so now uh, what you want to see is, uh, well, you, what you want to do is go to blur and then radio blur. And what this does, it takes something from one center point and sort of expands it from there. So everything will sort of be like blown back from that center point. And, uh, well, yeah, you want to do this by clicking on zoom and best and amount 100. That makes it, you know, best quality and a more, most like intensity of that like blur. Uh, so while that was just rendering, uh, yeah, just wait for now. I'll be repeating this process uh, several times by, uh, if on a Windows, con clicking Control F to uh, again redo the uh, last filter one more time, or Apple F on a Mac to do the same thing. Yeah. Sorry it takes so long. I just want to show you. Okay, so that's what it looks like after the first one. And I'll pause it now and uh, redo this uh, several times using the method I just showed you. So um, you don't have to go and watch like half an hour. Okay, so after I read this a couple times, you can sort of see this forming. Mm, yeah. Uh, so now you want to go to your uh, third layer. And... Um, you want to, uh, there's, well, you're gonna have to color this now, and, uh, you can, uh, there's two ways of doing this, first of all, you can just color it randomly, like that, and then select, like, a second color, like, I don't know, purple or something like that, and then color it like that, and then use the method I'm about to show you to, um, to overlay that, 
but um since I'm sort of doing like a rising sun thing um you'll see what I uh you'll, you'll I'll be using a gradient tool so that everything comes out from the center and goes out so uh yeah I'll select my first color as a sort of um yellowish whitish let me just get that yeah, it's, yeah, that's pretty good. And then my second color as a sort of uh, orangish brown. Oh yeah, like orangish reddish. And make sure you have radial blur selected. And then start out from your center <coughs> and just go out. So uh, you start out with um, yeah the first color in the center, and then you drag all that the entire gradient until your end point. So don't worry, it's gonna cover up the entire thing. And, um, yeah. Oh, wait, oh, whoops. I sort of did it on the second layer by accident. You need to do it in the third. Okay. Uh, so now you're gonna go to your fourth layer. And don't worry if nothing changed. Uh, it's because they're all transparent. So go to Render and Clouds. And don't freak out or anything. This is what's supposed to happen. This will just give uh, the whole thing like a tonal shade value. So, um, yeah, we're going to be cha manipulating that later. So now go back to your third layer. And um, in case you just want to look at it, you can always click on the eyeball to make it invisible. Um, it doesn't really matter for me. I know that I'm in third layer. So just uh, you can double click on the third layer to open up the properties. Okay. And uh, go to blend mode and do color. Now what this does is it overlays all the colors on white. The more white, the more color. The less, so yeah. So as you can see, this is sort of what happens. Uh, where there was white, you could see the colors there. Where there was uh, less white, there was less color. And then where there was total black, there was absolutely no color. Uh, so now I'm going to turn on my fourth layer again. Double click on it, just like previously. And then go to blend mode. And this time I'm going to do overlay. Okay. And as you see what happened there, um, it just sort of like gave it all like these shade values. Uh, so... Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. You can always, uh, you know, play around with all these different filters. You can change the opacity of like this to, uh, you know, give it like um, the different uh, transparencies. I'm just gonna leave it at uh, just that. It's, you know, it's pretty good. Um, and then you can always change the colors of it since you already are in blend mode. I mean, in color mode, so you can always, you know, just like recolor that with the brush. So um. Yeah, you know, you, it, it all depends on your preference, how you want it to look like. There's really no set rules of doing it. It's all, you know, how you want it to look like. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.